But so hard not to overeat during the holidays and now the extra pounds show it. If you're ready to get your eating habits back on track, we have some tips from a preventive medicine physician and professional bodybuilder, Dr. Sadrina Calder. Welcome. Nice to have you with Thank us. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. We got to get back on track, right? <laughs> we do. So what's the first step? Um, the first step would be just being prepared. So um, when you're trying to eat healthy, it's, it's, it's very helpful to have your food prepared ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So I recommend that you go grocery shopping, plan your meals out for the week and then at least you'll have something to stick to so you're not tempted to eat out which is you know usually uh, unhealthy options. So. Yeah. Do you like the idea of batch cooking on the weekend so that you've got I, some stuff to eat all week long? Definitely. I mean, I try to do that. I prefer to cook like once a week if possible. A lot of times I don't have time to cook multiple times in a week. So I think it's helpful to just pick a day that you're going to just cook for several days at a time, mm -hmm. a week if possible. Yeah, yeah, that's great. All right, making smart choices. That's what we have to do. Um, yes. That means there are some foods we really want to be careful and, and even eliminate. Yes. So you want to really choose uh, smart carb choices, and when I, what I mean by that is trying to eat carbs that are refined, I'm um, not refined, I'm sorry, whole grain, mm -hmm. and try to avoid any refined carbs or uh, avoid any sugary foods. And the reason being is that the whole grain carbs have a lot of fiber, it keeps you feeling full longer, so you're less likely to overeat, and it helps to stabilize your blood sugar levels, which helps to promote weight loss as well. Sure. What about protein? Protein, you want to eat the, your lean sources of protein. You want to focus on eating those. You want to stay away from fatty sources. The average American diet, we typically uh, eat a lot of fatty meats. Mm -hmm. So you want to eat the leaner ones like chicken, turkey, fish. Um, if you're vegan or vegetarian, you can do uh, soy, or soy products or tofu as well. All right, talk about fruit and veggies. They're both important. Yes, both are important. You need fruits and vegetables, obviously, for the vitamins and minerals that are within them. But the thing about fruits and vegetables when you're trying to lose weight is that they're low in calories. They have a lot of fiber in them, so it'll keep you feeling full longer. So you can just go ahead and load your plate up with those, and you, you won't have to worry about eating excessive calories. Yeah, do you have to be careful about some kinds of fruit, though? Um, yes, certain fruits. Um, well, it, you just want to not overeat your fruits because they yeah. are sources of sugar right and with sugar that's a source of those are carbs so when you overeat them your body can store some as fat so you don't want to eat too much of them you actually I'd rather you fill your your plate with more vegetables than fruits but fruits are definitely healthy to eat yeah good all right so let's talk about activity we all could use more yes definitely so if you're trying to lose weight and shed pounds you have to exercise I mean it's a great way to to burn some calories as well as and boost your metabolism to promote mm -hmm. further weight loss so just do what you can if you haven't been exercising, start slow and then progressively move up. But the recommendation is for adults to do at least 150 minutes of um, um, exercise per week, okay. um, up to 300 minutes. So it would be two and a half hours to five hours a week. So that's and like starting with 30 minutes a day, yeah, 30 five days a week. Day, exactly. That's not we'll so bad. get you the bare minimum. Mm -hmm. And if, like I said, if you haven't been exercising, just starting out with whatever you can, do what you can. It's better than not doing anything at all. So. Yeah. How important is strength training in addition to a cardio workout? Okay, so strength training is very important. And the recommendation for that for adults is to have at least a total of two hours a week of strength training. Mm -hmm. So it's important to do that because it'll help to increase your muscle size. It'll help with um, preventing any uh, injuries later on as you get older. So it's, it's, it's very important to do strength training. I and mean, it helps to boost your metabolism. It helps to also get you to lose some weight as well. So. All right, there's plenty of things you can do at home too. It's yeah. not like you have to go to a gym. Exactly, yeah. just walking around the block. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's something, right? It's you important. can exercise in your house, you can do yoga. There's plenty of uh, programs on TV now that yeah. are, offer exercise, so you can just do it in, at home. And there's, there's a lot of options, even right. at work, just taking a break and going for a walk. That's a good, good idea. So. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Great to have you with us today. Thank Happy you. New Year.